We are back. Man, Adventures of the Black Nerds. And I just want to go ahead and apologize, man. Life has been uh It's been hectic. Life is it's been it's been life. You know what? I I love it though, because the coolest shit I ever heard, and it's weird that I love it because it's it's really awkward. Mm-hmm. I think I like pain. But life is about solving problems. Yeah. Like I'll agree uh, with that. Yeah, that's that's why that's why super like rich people with a bunch of free time, they do like extreme sports and yeah, like free 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 climbing. climbing. Yeah, all that type of craziness. That's it's because that they're good. they're trying to add some some strife to their life so they can feel alive. See, I feel alive. Yeah. I got enough day to day shit to deal with that I'm I'm alive. I'm good guys. I actually I don't. I just got massive things to take care of with one situation got it yeah don't worry well one day yeah. i'd be able to update you guys and let you guys know you hear it first the exclusive but it's just and so much going on like uh, for me at yeah. least like i'm i'm doing too much but i have to do too much got you know, it's it it's just that's like our that's like your model like you're doing too much yeah, you're doing too much. I, I do live for that. I, mm. I probably tell my wife and kids that all day. Man, you say you're doing that too damn much. Don't you know you say that to me every day we get on stream or we get on uh, to record or every week we get on to record? You that say you, at some point throughout the thing, you say you're doing too much. You're doing too much. Yeah. Nah, bro. I swear I was supposed to be born on like some island where the only thing we do is like hunt, hunt like fish. <laughs> like, hey man, because I'm about that leisure. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to y'all. Uh, the leisure is good. I love sleep. I I look forward to sleep. Yeah, all that. Oh, rise and grind. I can do that. I do do it. I mean, I'm up every morning at like five. I don't know. I lost. But, the, I lost the drive to do that. I can't do that nah, shit anymore. No, nah, you I, you know today, what? Today, like, today, this is the first time this whole year I got up at seven o'clock. And pre-made my lunch for the week, and did Damn. dishes, and Damn. walked the dog. Damn! In the rain. Damn! First time oh. in a while. Even my oh, wife was shit. like, "You're up." I'm like, "Yeah." Damn! Our son's clothes is taken out. <laughs> oh, bro! Look, let me tell you. So, that's why I haven't been streaming. It's because uh. I've been finding reasons to sleep. You gotta, you really do gotta take care of yourself. Of course. First and foremost, we talk about this often. It often comes up because I know for me at least, it's something that I've been, um, I've been focusing on and really trying to get a hold of. You gotta take care of yourself. If mm-hmm. something's up, if your day to day routine is off, or you're feeling like something's just not adding up in terms of how you feel, go talk to somebody. You know, PSA. PSA, public service announcement from mm-hmm. Adventures of the Black Nerds. Self care includes hygiene, mental health, f- emotional health, all the types of health. And for all you Call of Duty players, if you don't eat your broccoli, you can't 360 no scope. Just so y'all know that. I read that somewhere. <laughs> and it has to be true because it was on Google. <laughs> Everything on Google is real. It's the realest. It's the real. But yeah, so that's so that's just been what's going on. You know, just feeling getting acclimated to new situations mm-hmm. and whatnot. Um, hey, um, well, oh, I want to. Okay, I want to talk about Fallout seventy six and why we're not playing it. But before we do that, because I'm oh, I'm gonna I'm ramble. About to go hand. I was about to go. No, hand. no, no. Damn. Just real quick, I realized that I'm into isometric grid-based games. Like, I play those more than anything else. Mm -hmm. I'm currently... I haven't been playing my console because I've been playing Wasteland 2 on my uh, Nintendo Switch, which is great because I get to play it everywhere. Like, I'm everywhere. So you have a niche. (gasps) Yes. 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 I have a niche. So what that means, right? I got to make a series. I got to stream based on it. That was the first thing I thought about. That's actually what I was getting ready to set up if this wasn't going to happen. Uh, like, I was getting ready to get streaming. I just downloaded this new game, Mutant Year, uh, Mutant Zero Year One or something like that. Yeah. I'm going to make videos and all that other stuff about it. But this is my thing, bro. I love those games. I can go down. The, I think we talked about it before, so I'm not going to go through it too much. But, okay. Niche games. Awesome. Great way to build content. No, bump that. Can we talk? Look, Twitch. 
Why? <laughs> you know what's the most frustrating thing about Twitch? And what's really pissing... You know what really grinds my gears? <laughs> is um, why they get rid of communities? That was the most frustrating thing ever. I tried to stream, right? Because I'm on and off on my streaming. Yeah. I apologize to those who watch me and all my subscribers, which it ain't that many of y'all, but I really do appreciate you. I apologize. It is frustrating. I used to be able to type in a specific community. Oh, there's a community for grid-based games. Boop, 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 boop. Type it in. Be good. I just did my own sound effects. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're not that legit yet. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, just add it in. But no, so I would, I would do it, and then only people who wanted to see grid-based games would go to that group. Yeah. So I actually got more viewership. I got way more viewership because there were niche games. I got my Twitch affiliate status because of communities. Yeah. I would play the hell out of uh, Mountain Blade. There is, I can promise you, there's probably like 10 people in the world right now streaming Mountain Blade. 10 people in the whole world. But Mm. there's a lot of people who like the game and they will actually watch people play it. Exactly. I would literally have 14 people at a time watching me play. This damn near ten year old game. That and my computer can run it. Uh, that's a whole different story. When you gonna upgrade? But, uh, oh, I know. Hey, it's actually been about time. I mean, it's bruh, been, bro. It's been, been like bruh, two, I need, three years. I need somebody to go full PC with me. Oh, <laughs> I I you know I have a problem with commitment. Same reason I don't get dreads, bro. I don't want to commit. Hey, if well, shit. If I start buying the games on PC, what the hell you think you gonna do? <laughs> oh yeah, huh? Good point. I like see? where your head's at. All right. Yeah. See, see, I'm a cheap ass too. So now you really talking my language? Exactly. Yeah. Bear J six seven is super cheap. I'm so cheap. Uh no, I'm just cheap. You just cheap. I'm just. Ain't cheap. nothing wrong with it's that. Not, no, it's, it's not. You know, Frugal I like to go out to eat. Yeah, but see, I'm frugal with certain stuff. Like, of course, but that's how it is for everybody. Yeah, everybody's got. Like, that oh thing. yeah, you may you may get your clothes from Walmart or mm-hmm. you know some store like that, but your shoes. Maybe yeah, some, some Jordans. Man, I have I have a homeboy. I ain't gonna put his info out there. This dude would wear like Kirkland basketball shorts. <laughs> And like, hey, Kirkland don't everything. not Kirkland, dog. No, Kirkland no, but this, this ain't the point. It's not the point. The point is, he would wear very low cost clothes, but he would easily have on six hundred dollars shoes. Hmm. You know what? That's like, that's kind of like me. That is like, me. <sighs> oh, so am I talking about you? Yeah, we're talking I guess about you could be talking. Yeah, you talking about me? Yeah. Well, because I because it, oh, it was always even. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Think about when we played football. Think about when we played football. It was always yeah. basketball shorts and t shirts, stuff like that. Pro cl- people act like pro clubs were expensive, expensive. Like well, the, pro first clubs, off, ten dollars for a blank t shirt is expensive in my book. They never but then you again, see I'm they cheap. weren't they they, they weren't ten dollars. How much were they? Pro clubs used to be like seven bucks, seven, hmm. eight bucks. Well, see, they were always more for me. I'm fat. Okay. All right. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, so. See, let me let me let me tell. Okay, let's go down this rabbit hole before we get to Fallout seventy six. Yeah, no, no, you skinny trendy people make me sick. <laughs> there was one time. There was there was only one time, one trend in the urban community that fit me, but everybody wanted to wear my size clothes. Of course, could you imagine? It used. This is how it either goes. Either there is nothing in your size, nothing. I don't get the cool graphic T-shirts. This shirt here probably don't even really fit right. I wouldn't wear this outside. Nah, that's not in the house. But shirt. look, so I don't get the cool graphic T-shirts. But let me get to the point. Everybody was wearing size three and five X T-shirts all the way through. Yep, Soldier Boy, With, uh, tell them. Soldier Boy, everybody was wearing the big T-shirts, right? I will go to the store and they'd be out of my shirt size, bro. Mm-hmm. Everybody's wearing big shirts and I'm just trying to wear clothes. <laughs> so, like, I need the, the stru- necessity. I, I just <laughs> want a t shirt. They're like, oh, we're out, but we have 1X and 2X. Does it look like I need a tank top? Do I need a wife beater? It's a whole no. <laughs> bro, out here trying to give me tube tops. This is, look, man. But okay. Hey, I'm not going to even front. Ooh. 
that era was that era was the best for me because I was in like the I was in the one X two X stage. Oh, so there so was plenty of clothes. There was plenty of shirts for me. There's plenty of clothes for me. I never mm-hmm. had to miss out on clothes. But yeah, for all you the bigger people, it was these dudes is wearing size forty two pants when they really like a thirty two. <laughs> Bro, it was it was stupid. It Super. was such a that time frame really just pissed me off. But how is it now for you though? Okay, now I'm gonna tell you right now, it sucks being big because a lot of places don't. Ca- you got to go to specific places to oh, find yeah. clothes. For I can name my people. spots. I can name my spots right now. Burlington, Burlington's uh, a good spot. Uh, what's I, sometimes Ross? Yeah, Ross is iffy. Ross uh, got the shoes though. They do got the they shoes. Got the shoes though. Uh, and DXL. DXL when I'm feeling what's bougie. That? Exactly, Destination XL. It's Fat People Paradise. Ah, uh, see, I need to know where that's at. You, yeah, you, I got you. You need to I'll, inform I'll, me I'll, of I'll these cam. things. I got you. I got you. Don't uh, just use Discord for memes, man. Okay. Oh, it's so for real for good we shit. Need, yes. Okay. We definitely have a business section on the Discord. On uh, Discord. Links in the description. <laughs> 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 we definitely need to associate these things with us because we need to help each other. I can barely yeah. find clothes. I'm just saying. Hey, for all my my heavy set or large t-shirt wearing uh, gamers and nerds, where do y'all buy y'all graphic t-shirts? Because one thing I noticed, fat people, if they wearing like a graphic t-shirt with like, let's say a Deadpool shirt, we'll just use Deadpool. Mm-hmm. If, so, if a, big, a really big Deadpool guy's, shirt. yeah, but if a really big guy's wearing a Deadpool shirt, he really don't fit him. Yeah, it's like either uh, tighten the arms or it lifts yeah, up a little bit. Or yeah. it's like, yeah, his belly yeah. poking out. Yeah. But he wearing his Deadpool shirt. He gonna wear Where do y'all get our graphic t-shirts? Because actually, this might be a niche. We might have found a business. Just did make fat people, people graphic t-shirts. Oh, did you wear your shirt from Animango yet? Probably. I have not. I'm gonna I'm, I, no, I'm scared to wear it. Me too. Because I'm scared it was to clean dope. it. Yeah. That's he was part. like, oh, it's real easy to wash. And I'm like, I said, nah, I don't trust it. I don't trust none nah. of that. I don't trust that. Don't but trust anyway, that yeah, that that you 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 may be right. We may do we may do have have a niche. We may we have found, found a niche. Enough. Another niche. We Man, found this is just the day of the niches today. Yeah, fat people. Graphic okay, t-shirts. there we go again. Fallout seventy six. Stick to Fallout seventy six. Okay, so we argued about Twitch communities and whatnot. So now we're getting in fat people clothing, and now we're getting the Fallout seventy six. Now Fallout seventy six. I, I played... I wonder if I can talk about it now or will I get... I played some stuff before the beta and then I played the beta. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll just say that. I played... Well, nah, uh, so you should I, be fine. Uh, nah, the no, game's no, out. no. The game's no. out. So, nope. Um, when you sign contracts and shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, I played... I played a lot of uh, Fallout 76. One thing I will say with those earlier builds is it was fun, but I could see myself getting bored very easily. Mm-hmm. The shooting mechanics felt wonky. The um, but but see, I feel wrong. I'm gonna be honest. I don't feel like I don't feel accurate talking crap about a game that I haven't played the full real release. Of course. So that and because we we argue about people like that all the time. Yeah. Like, don't talk shit about a game you haven't played. Yeah. Um. So what I will say though is that the those the beta and the stuff before was not enough to get me to play the game, and I own the game. Yeah. We own it. We own the game. We have it. I have yet to load it up. Load it. I have let to download the mode. So. Bro, I have it downloaded. Mm-hmm. I have yet to play it. I've played more NBA 2K15 than I have <laughs> Fallout. this year. This year. Oh, that's sad. Then I'm, yeah, that I've played sad. NBA 2K15 was so much fun for me. I can't uh, remember. Them, them basketball games, man. I, I got no, well, you, people shooting threes and shit. I'm tired of that shit. Well, you hear, you hear what I just told you. 2K15. Yes, I know. The old, oh. old one. Oh. I busted out. It's a it glows. I'm like, <laughs> got an aurora around it. <laughs> little aurora borealis over it northern light as soon as i pull it out <laughs> but um no nah, man and then um uh, but but my point is this is what scares me about this and why this is so important and why i really brought this up is i am we are and i feel like i can speak for both of us 
We're huge Bethesda fans. Um, I've spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours playing Bethesda games. Nope. I wouldn't be I shocked if I put more in than me. Oh yeah, bro, because I used to play Morrowind. Uh, um, I used to play Morrowind, which I would. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not I play more. I'm not gonna go down that road because uh, I can really go for days on that one. Yeah. Um, I played Morrowind. I've played um, uh, what was after Morrowind? Oblivion. I played Skyrim. I played Skyrim. Fallout Three. Fallout. I even played the original Fallout's uh, all the way up to, I think it was called Tactics. Mm-hmm. Um, Brotherhood Tactics or something like that. And then uh, Fallout Three, Fallout yeah. New Vegas, Fallout Four, Fallout which 3 I still haven't. Like- introduction into Bethesda, Bethesda and also uh-huh. uh, I platinum Fallout. That's how serious I was about that goddamn game. I that loved game that game. Fun. That game was so fun, man. It just felt pure, bro. I wish... Honestly, I thought they were going to remaster that. Yeah. If they brought that with the Fallout 4 graphics, oh my god. I'd rather play that. Than Fallout... Bro, you know what it was about Fallout... Okay, so 76. Let's, let's yeah, stick 76. on 76. On point. The issue on point. We'll, we'll structure these one of these days, guys. One no, these we won't. Days. no, we won't. No, we're not. We've we been need saying a, that for we a need year another now. person. We need some. <laughs> we do need a moderator. We do. I, I think I had the perfect person too. I'll talk to you after. After. Okay. This. Okay. So, um, now the issue with seventy six was they released a um from what every what I'm getting from the community is they released the unfinished game. They pulled a they pulled a bungee. They, they they really did, mm-hmm. um, but what's so bad is this is Bethesda Game Studios doing this. If any other company did this, we would we wouldn't be tripping. We would just as like, oh, much, yeah, yeah. The gaming community, fuck. Here they go again. Mm-hmm. But when you got a company who's been a staple in successful for the gamers games, yes, they've been buggy. There has not been a buggy, non buggy Bethesda game. But when they released a game that's clearly a cash grab, that's clearly unfinished, just to get it out there, it 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 hurt me as a fan. I think like, they I, I think they rushed it. I think I they think, did. I think they should have just waited for the new console to come out. Or I'm gonna tell you this. You know what would have been better, in my opinion? What? Where it could be the same game it is now, exactly what it is now, and we would have all been okay. If they would have released it as DLC for Fallout 4. Oh, yeah. Uh, of course. If they would have just did extended DLC. Think about it. Because then you could resell Fallout 4. This would have been a better as marketing a package game. deal, yeah. Yes. You could have resold Fallout 4 and called it, like, Origins. Like, Fallout Fallout Origins. Because mm-hmm. this is what it is. It's 20 years after the nukes drop. Okay. So, this is that's the story with Fallout 76. 20 years um, after the nukes drop. And you guys are out trying to reclaim back uh, West Virginia. Mm, okay. So that's the that's the baseline story. It would have made way more sense going along with Fallout 4. It could have all the same mistakes, all the same everything, and we would be okay. Because we're like, hey, it's just DLC, 30 bucks. You know, even yeah. if they only charge $30, DLC, uh, they'll fi- they said they're going to fix it as it goes. Let's have fun with it. Mm. We would be less tripping but we wouldn't trip as hard yeah. i really don't think so but by them doing a full release doing i think they did like five editions they right. had the tricentennial edition they had the um the power armor collector or what was it called the collector's edition i'm good um I'm and that's sick. actually yeah that one's having big problems because they actually promised a canvas, a military canvas bag, uh-huh. and when everybody opened up their bags, they ended up getting, and this is two hundred dollars, yeah, two hundred dollars. Uh, they ended up getting nylon. So listen to this. <laughs> this is somebody's tweet. I gotta read it. So yo, Bethesda Studios, and this is uh, Seriani thirteen. Um, yo, Bethesda Studios. This isn't a West Tech canvas bag. This is a ghetto ass nylon trash bag. <laughs> Fallout the fuck guys, <laughs> bro. They big, they mad do- about that. But you—that's what I'm saying. You cannot promise those things, these things, yes. and not fall through with them because you're gonna yes. hear about it. Especially as big as Imagine This is what people wanted—a Fallout online experience like this. Yes, it's what they wanted. 
I don't know they, if it wanted it specifically to be like how it is now. That's a that's you know. That's now subjective. peep this, peep this. Another way this could because I I really want to see I want to see Bethesda win, bro. Of course. Let me tell you, Bethesda, CD Projekt Red, um, Rockstar, um, who else? We talk about these companies all the time. Bungie. I we talk Bungie. About all the time. I want I want to see these companies do good because in the messed historically, up part is we, they've done good. Exactly, and we buy their stuff. Yes, you know. So I that's what games. hurts the most. We we yes. purchase these games, and we're expecting this, but we get that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and then our expectations are based off of what you tell us. Mm -hmm. It's not. I I'm not the hype train. I try not to get behind it. I rarely do get drugged in the hype train. But I'm not gonna lie, but, the hype train for me was on Fallout Four was because of Fallout Three. Yes. Yeah. Because yes. of Fallout Three, I was expecting something better than Fallout Three. Fallout yes. Three to me was perfect. Yeah, and you know what's so funny? There, a large part of the community would like want to kill us for saying that because a lot of people feel fallout new vegas was better yeah. but honestly i think fallout 3 was a way better game less yeah. colors even though the whole game was green and brown mm -hmm. like the entire <laughs> like if you go back and look at the color palette it, yeah, it i was, think it really it was, was real green dark and yeah. yeah and real green um which makes sense because it's radiation and everything like i mm. i wouldn't assume the skies would be pretty yeah but still the point was, I felt like it had it was full of choice. It was full of um, it, it had all the proper ups and downs, all the different options. You had to work hard to get your companions. You remember that? Yeah. Okay, you remember that companion that was in the zombie world, where you had or not zombie, um, which was in the ghoul, the ghoul city, where you had to go and you had to either steal his contract or kill the guy who owned his contract. On oh, Fallout Four. Oh no, Fallout Three. I don't remember that one. His name was Sharon. I think his name was Sharon or something like that. But the point was, you had to work to get companions. Okay. In Fallout Four, you don't. Within the first like th hour of the game, if you just play the story, I think I got four companions. Yeah. The just... dog, the robot, uh, Preston uh, Garvey, and uh, the rep Peter, uh, yeah. the Piper or whatever her name was. Yeah, the, the yeah, that was within the first hour, like. Four, just four companions. Play the story mode, yeah. Yeah. I don't like I, I don't like the assisting that they did in there when it came to that. Yeah, it was very hand holding. And then you couldn't kill them, like Yeah. And, and then die. there was no I felt like there was not many choice. The choice didn't feel there. But with Fallout seventy six, now let's go back to this. Mm -hmm. All these things we're talking about, folks, all the choice, the the magic of the game, the adventure, the companions, all of that's gone. Yeah. In 76, that's not there. The whole point of 76 is supposed to be an online experience where you're playing with friends and you're building, you know, you're building your base, you're running around causing problems, da 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 da, da which sounds great. I think what could have fixed Fallout 76 is if they would have made it free to play. Uh, that's the that's the route, man. Because because you would get way more people. More people would feel inclined. Look, okay, I always say look at Fortnite. We always talk about it. Look at Fortnite. Fortnite's model proves, I mean, there's been plenty of other games to prove it. Warframe, like, we're disregarding a lot of games. We're, you know, I don't want to disrespect any games out there. But let's be Fortnite, real. Fortnite's just at the forefront of it right now. It's at the it's at the front. Fortnite's probably going to win all type of awards uh, tomorrow night. People, um, people get mad when I say that, man. It no, but it better. It it, it innovated. It really did. It yeah. changed. People got rich off of Fortnite. Yep. People came instant stars off of Fortnite. Careers. Mm -hmm. People so have made careers off of Fortnite. That the model is that you know, if Fallout seventy six would have took that model, who knows where it would have where it would be right now? Because guess what? If I enjoyed it enough, or let's say I believed in it, because at its base, it has some good ideas. So imagine five months from now. Imagine if we gave it the the destiny uh, trial period. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, it's not what we want today, but let's continue talking with the devs, yeah. and we'll get it to where we want it to be. I think I think that's what a lot of companies that do that, who create these online games, need to do is they need to establish some type of community manager, 
Mm-hmm. For example, I'm only really familiar with Bungie community manager and things like that because they're on the forefront they're out here talking to people they're out here you know establishing relationship with streamers and youtubers and people of such to get the game better that's the objective of the game you know what made me gain a lot more respect for bungie talking about developers is when Mm. activision came out with their their annually report and said that forsaken didn't do as good as they wanted it to do and that was some people come. Some people have been saying that that is the best DLC Destiny has ever had in the universe of Destiny. Wow. I, I don't agree with that, but I agree. I think Taken King was better because of little nuances and things here. But Destiny brought or Forsaken brought Destiny back to where it needed to be. True. So when True. I heard them go again, when I heard Activision go then go say that. And then I heard the response that one of the Bungie uh, the, the devs said to it. I was like, they're they're really trying to make a better game. And if other games, if for example, if Fallout, Bethesda established something like that and they did create this whole, okay, this is the trial period or whatever. We're going to put it out there, see what we need to change, give it to the community, let them play, make it free to play, and then we'll change it as we go. Put in microtransactions. You, they yeah. got to make money. Totally get it. Got to make money. Microtransactions is the way to do it, but you have a free game. It would probably be a better experience. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. now you have, okay, well, this is the problem I have with it. This is what you possibly can do. And people will take the time out to make the game better for you. Yep. <laughs> So they will do look at the modding community. Exactly. And that's and that's actually and uh that's actually something that uh another YouTuber I, I watch a lot of, Mr. Matty Plays, he brought up a point when it came to Fallout 76 that they still have problems that were in the Fallout 4. Mm-hmm. They have problems that were in Fallout 4 that modders fixed. Yeah. So how can you be that lazy? To have same issues, which means you used a lot of the same base code, which I don't I don't necessarily mind if you properly build upon it. Yeah. But don't don't sell me a, a what do you, what would you call it? Not DLC. Don't sell me a mod. Because that's what a lot of people call it. A lot of people call Fallout 76 a mod. Yeah. A Fallout 4. Don't sell me a mod for full price and make it like a big commercial release. That's yeah. disrespectful. Of course but it is. But at the end of the day, us as consumers, it's on us. Let's be real here. I harp this all the time. I stay saying this, and this is about everything. This is not a spectator sport. Only way we the game is successful is if we buy it. Pre-ordering games has been a big doom on us as a community. Uh-huh. Uh, and that gave rise to DLC which then the cell phone com- gaming community gave heavy rise to microtransactions. That like that has been those things they are only as good as we allow them to be because yeah. as a community we keep pumping money into it. Like could and you imagine I, if I'm telling you for I, one month nobody bought anything off of Fortnite? Bro, I'm t- you know what it is and I've I've established it that I know this is it for me so I want to see how many more people if you can relate to this, please, please comment down in the section below if you're watching this on YouTube. It's because you don't want to miss anything. Yeah. You don't want to miss anything. We don't. Look how many yeah. skins that some of these people, these kids yeah. have in Fortnite, and they do not even wear them. They don't even use them, but they want it in their collections because they don't want to miss anything. I can relate to that, especially coming, especially playing a game like Destiny. It's hard for me to even go to any other game, especially when they put out new content, because I don't want to miss anything. I want to have every opportunity to get this gun or this set of gear or beat this activity because everything is so now. I need it now. I need it now. I need this now. There is no doing it later or rushing to do it later because, you know, a lot of games are adopting that season type mm-hmm. deal now where there's oh season one season seven eight whatever whatever so you don't want to miss anything and that's what i've chalked it up to because i really be like like i really have to plan like okay tuesday i'm all, or monday i'm off work i'm gonna hurry up and do all of this because i gotta play and do my raids and do this get my catalyst it's just so much stuff going on like you just don't want to miss anything so 
That's what I chalk it up to, man. Especially for Fortnite, because skins don't do anything for you in Fortnite. Skins don't. They just uh, they're. Which they're, is why I don't mind the game. Exactly. So I don't. My bad. The yeah. The microtransaction <laughs> in that regard, I do not mind at all. I don't. You know, I think that's fine. But what I'm saying is, people out go out and purposely buy these things. Like I said, not not having a problem with them buying it, but they're purchasing it. And it doesn't do anything for you. It's just you don't want to miss anything. Oh, this is a seat. After this season is up, I want to. I want to know like what it is towards the end of the season. Like when people haven't bought the season pass and haven't completed the cat the, the the challenges. I want to know how many people and how much money gets pumped into Fortnite the last, the last day of days. the season to mm. see how many how many people. Hey, that man, would just be dope buy it. You to know run what I'm those numbers. Because That'd be some dope numbers it'll to see. show you something that some of these people just don't want to miss anything. People got hundreds and millions of skins and don't even wear nothing. Hey, and and you know what, man? It's a uh, it. I know I'm at a I'm at a different place because I used to be that kid. Mm-hmm. I every new game that came out, I had it. Yep. You know, then responsibilities kicked in. But even before responsibilities kicked in, what it really was for me was realizing that this stuff only happens because we allow it to. Yes. Um, the last game I felt burnt by um, was, uh, I want to no, it wasn't. You know, even though Destiny was not what I wanted to to be, I had fun with it. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to use that example. Um, I'm trying to think. Fallout, Fallout 4 was a disappointment for me. Fallout 4 was the biggest disappointment That hurt. Me. Yeah, that really hurt. Because... I was pumped. I still got the. I still got a giant in store Fallout Four poster. Mm-hmm. I have that up. I'm looking at it right now. Um. I uh damn 2015. That's crazy. Um. Shh. I had a lot of. I had a lot of hope for that game. We all did. I, I feel like everybody, every Fallout fan did. Even if you're not a Bethesda fan, if you were a Fallout fan, you had high hopes for that game. Yeah, you was ready for it, you know, but it just truly was not what they said it was going to be. Exactly. And once that happened, I learned, I was like, you know what? You can't you can't go around pre-ordering. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It, it's a it's a big you you just can't you can't do that. And we have to we have to be smarter with our money because these companies only do what we pay for. You see Fortnite's not working on their damn uh, story mode anymore. They don't have to. <laughs> they don't have to. They don't have to. They, what, that would be access. dumb for them. <laughs> that would be dumb for them. Yeah. Unless they can somehow work in story mode into the Battle Royale, which now, I'm I guess. Pretty, I'm pretty sure they pulled all resources and said, hey, all hands on deck for, for the Battle Royale mode. Yeah. <laughs> And, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's mm. what worked. It was the hot hand, so you run with it. Exactly. But but now, I'm trying. Ah oh, man. Oh, it's, sweet it's, church. it's it's like I said. It hurts so much because of the expectation we have for Fallout. So yeah, I understand it, and I and I'm pretty sure we're not the only people out here like that. People started to play the game when it first came out because of the buzz behind it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. I wouldn't even go. I would go as far as to say some people got paid to play that game on stream. And how and often do you like think that. that happens? I think bro. that happens with every major IP in the world, because be, because what that's okay. We'll dish out. We'll dish out the game. We give you the game. A little cash mm-hmm. on top to play the game, so your viewership could potentially go buy the game. Easiest, easy it, advertisement has got so easy for it because now it really these people has. are playing these games. Now they're contracted to play these games for however long that is for, and that's that. Hey, no, why do you hey, think? No, lo- oh, oh, go ahead. Ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was about to say, why do you think for uh, Fallout was number one when it first came out, and then instantly falls all the way down after a week or two? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just it instantly collapses. You know, people That's, go back to play their regularly scheduled game, back to uh, Battle Royale and whatever. And that's just how it is. Look, when I seen Shroud playing that game, I said, when I seen Ninja, 
<laughs> Ninja playing the game with uh, they did the Rick and Morty. They did the whole Rick and Morty uh thing. Oh where, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ninja played with Rick and Morty, and Rick and Morty they're talking in the background and all of that. When I seen that shit, I said he got paid to play that shit. Yeah, he got. Paid. I, I, he got paid. I believe it, and the reason, the only reason, and I could be wrong, and I'll accept it if I'm wrong, but I would think that he got paid to play that because why? The dude yeah. is for he is Fortnite. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you, oh God, I actually really is successful as he is. I I bet I feel bad for him. I love Ninja. Ninja's he, no, no, no. I think he's dope. Yeah, and I'm I'm happy that he's doing this because once again, all it is is good gaming. Because mm-hmm. now when there's some kid at home spending a couple hours of his free day playing a game, his parents can now see the potential behind it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Now it's not a. Now you can't. You can still shame people. People will get shamed for of everything. Of course, yeah. But now you have some physical examples and clout behind it. So now all that you're what you're just wasting your time bro you see, crap you speaking of that you you seen the situation with him a couple weeks ago what, what happened Ninja? man he uh he was on stream and um he got he felt like he got stream sniped and uh when it happened he reported the guy turns out that it wasn't a stream site so he accepted that well, he he reported another guy, and he was jo- he was joking. He, I mean, it it sounded like a joke when I heard it, and he was like, "Oh, I'm re- I'm report this guy for high ping," and he did it, and um, the account got banned. Well, what happened was it it didn't get banned immediately. The guy ended up changing his name to something else, and then like on purpose, he changed his name. Then he got banned for doing something and then claimed that Ninja got him banned. So he was going through like a gang of hate on it was it was mad crazy. But even speaking on Ninja, it's the dude. The dude is genuine. Like, I feel like he's genuine when it comes to the gaming and all of the stuff that he talks about outside of gaming, because it just I, I, I mean, watching him from when he used to when he was hyper. When he was hyper ninja, it was just a totally different person now. I'm not sure if that was because of Fortnite. It was because he started to see, hey, I gotta change. Like he was going crazy, throwing his head headset and you know playing. Uh, he used to play Halo, but now he's a different person. I see it in him. I think I really think he was. It was. It was just so crazy to see all the hate and shit he was getting for the past week or so. You know because of that, but and and you know what. <laughs> that whole that saying, crazy. Uncle Ben saying, "With great power comes great responsibility." Hey. Like we were just, we were just talking about how with with streaming, yeah. there's certain people I won't stream with. Oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. Um, like I'm not, I'm not gonna put myself in a situation where I can get banned. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I mean? But but when it comes to having the authority and the power, like, hey, Ninja just said this dude's playing playing dirty. Yeah, we need yeah. to listen to him. Like I feel like his request goes through faster than everybody else. Oh, of course. And and it's only because so much of their viewerships come flows through him. Yeah. Um it, it's it's dope. I couldn't imagine having that much power, bro. I, I I don't know what I would do. I really don't. Like I I'd, I'd I'd probably I'd me purposely I'll probably just stop playing like <laughs> Yeah, this is too much. I'll catch y'all later. I just dip off screen like I'm out. <laughs> hey, hey, bro. Speaking on that, it's so trippy how easy it is for me to walk away from stuff when it comes to like games. But you, like, no, I, no, 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 no. With you, that that's a life thing. With you, you can walk away from anything. Everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I it, think it, that it, that's because you've been doing that since you were a kid. So yeah, I have no problem just shutting the shit yeah, down. Like just, just turning the computer off. Back. I'm going to watch TV. Yeah, but no. <laughs> and then and then what makes it worse is you you know you're not thinking about it. Yeah. Like he just gonna walk away. <laughs> yeah, like did he just walk off stream? Yeah, I'm gonna get some sticky just, rice. Yeah, when you told gonna, me that, yo? sh- bro. When you told me that shit, I got mad at you, <laughs> bro. I haven't had sticky rice in so bro, long. Bro, he's he said I'm not going to practice. I'm going to get sticky rice. <laughs> bro, I sure did. I said, bro, we got the invitation of tomorrow. Yeah, I yeah. come back and get you, but I'm yeah. going to practice. <laughs> bro, I was terrible. 
I would come up with every excuse in the world. Man, I thought that was funny as heck. He's, then I'm just going to eat the sticky rice. Man, I'm I'll be get, back. I'm hooked on Thai food just for it's funny because what he's talking about was like junior year of, yeah. of high school. So I've been, yeah, Thai food. All right, that's my shit. Yeah. Thai food, Vietnamese food. What else? Tell I you, love man. Japanese food. We gonna have to. Oh, you know what? Oh, that should be a little session with you. What's new with Baron? All the new food. Any new concoction? All the new food I've been eating. This man, he got all the new concoctions. I went to Starbucks. He was like, "No, get this." I came back. My my drink had rocks and shit in it, but it was bomb. <laughs> That shit was hey, delicious. <laughs> bro, man. Look, yeah, all that shit led to my fat ass being fat now. <laughs> but look, hey, what's a trip, though? I love going out to eat. Mm-hmm. I love, I just love the environment. Yeah. Uh, it's just chilling and having a good time being merry and then food in front of you. It's the best. That's why the holidays are, uh, that's why the holidays are shit. But now that we're done talking about me being, being fat and eating a bunch of food, mm-hmm. we're going to wrap it up. This is this is a short run. Yeah, it was a short episode today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Shout out to Tone Deaf Network. Oh, it's home, blasting man. us across the universe, guy. But yeah, man, <laughs> I, I definitely I still haven't tried that sticky rice. Is that spot still over there? Hell yeah, yeah. We got to go get some sticky rice. Though. Yeah, but hey, you can get it. There's a lot of places you can get it. It's the magic of sticky rice. But see, I don't know. I don't it see, is mango. I, you gotta get mango sticky rice. See, because you just order sticky rice, they just gonna give you rice that's sticky. But you gotta get the mango sticky rice, and that shit. I, I want to know like how coconut they, juice and shit. How they get it sticky? Like, what is it? What's the sugar? Like, I, honestly, I think it's the type of rice. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Now, on that note. Peace. Peace.